two, uh, we have a few, not more than two, we have a few friends in the house that will be joining us to pray um, uh, from, you know, different parts of, you know, Nigeria. And um, I'm going to introduce the person that will be anchoring them, anchoring the prayer session for tonight, for the next one. Uh, he's my friend, he's my brother, he's my colleague, and I'm bringing up now in the studio, Barrister Ufui Uwango. He's a barrister at law, and he's also a reverend gentleman. He's going to be anchoring the prayers for the next one hour, and then we'll be having some wonderful ministers lead us in the prayers tonight. I encourage you, if you, are, if you can pray in tongues, pray in tongues. If you can comment, oh, amen, amen, comment, amen. amen. Whatever you do, make sure you're praying for Nigeria at this time. We will bet the Nigeria of our dreams. Barista Hui, it's good to have you here tonight. Thanks for joining pleasure. us and thanks for being part of this assignment. It's my pleasure, Pastor Shelley. Um, we praise God for what he's doing through you and for the vision and how effectively you've carried this vision and how you carried it across from the state, uh, those states, now to, to the global stage for Nigeria. And the vision keeps spreading. And we see that from year to year, prayers that we pray in this prayer forum get answered. We Hallelujah. see the physical manifestation of the True. answers to the prayers that we pray. So we are inspired and motivated because we have a God that hears us. Um, Amen. When we bring our petitions to him, he grants us those petitions. And we we'll bless God because he's not just a God that grants our petitions. He does exceedingly, abundantly, abound every of our prayer session. And tonight is another night when the exceedingly will be released, Amen. when the abundantly will be unleashed, and Amen. when the abode will be unveiled. Tonight Amen. is a night where power is made effective and effectual. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome my brothers and my sisters um, who are praying with us and people all over the globe all over the globe that have gathered to this forum. I'd like to ask that you invite your friends, if you're watching us right now on Facebook and on YouTube, uh, to, uh, to share the link and make it accessible to others. Because where more saints are gathered to pray, more power is made available. And, and, and the presence of the Lord is going to be doing wonders even beyond our prayers tonight in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, before I call on my brothers who will lead us in prayers at different times tonight, I'd like to hand over this session at this time to a wonderful, phenomenal um, sister, a music minister, who will just lead us into the presence of God in worship at this time. It's my privilege and pleasure to welcome my sister, Treasure Kings, as she leads us in worship. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for our nation, Nigeria. We thank you because we know that better things are happening for this nation. Thank you, Father. Behold what's mine.
Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. What an hallelujah. awesome ministration. Thank you for loving us too much. Too much excess love. Bless God for that mighty, powerful ministration by our sister Treasure Kings tonight. Thank you for using your gifts um, um, for, for this work that has happened. God loved us so much and he has displayed consistently his excess love towards our nation, Nigeria. And tonight we're going to call upon heaven. We're going to call upon his name tonight. And I, I, I believe God. That something extraordinary will be happening tonight. Um, so it's my pleasure tonight to welcome my brother, uh, Pastor John Paul, tonight um, to Global Prayers for Nigeria. Pastor John Thank Paul, you, you are so most much. welcome. Great. Thank you so much. Great. I I'd like to ask, what city are you currently praying from tonight? I'm praying from the commercial capital. Uh, you are in Lagos. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. Is this your first time on Global Prayers uh, for Nigeria for Edo State? Yeah, this is my first time on, on Global Prayers generally, whether for Nigeria or Edo State. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. You are, most, you are most welcome. From year to year, we've been doing this and we've seen God move. And I trust that through you tonight, God is going to do something awesome. But I'd like to ask you a question. What do you see God doing in Nigeria in the next 12 months? What do you see in the eyes of the spirit? I see an overhaul. I see, I see a transition that is going to happen forcefully. When I mean forcefully, it's going to be against the will of those who will have to be, you know, set apart for others to take their places. But it's going to happen definitely, no matter how much they try to resist it. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. An overhaul, an overhaul, a transformational change that cannot be resisted by the forces of man, that cannot be resisted by the forces of nature. What God is about to do, no man can stop it. Praise the name of the Lord. Pastor John Paul, please go ahead and just lead us in prayer for the next 10 minutes or thereabout as God gives you utterance. God bless you. First of all, I just want us to thank God for Nigeria. Let's give him praise. Uh, Nigeria is still a nation because God has made it possible. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. People have done everything to tear the nation apart, but God has sustained her. You know, so I want to thank God. In 2015, Nigeria was supposed to be torn in shreds. There were predictions to that extent, but God frustrated that satanic intent. And that same God is on his throne, you know, again, to do much more for Nigeria. So let's begin by thanking him for all he's done for us as a nation, sustaining Nigeria, keeping her in shape. Let's just raise our voices and begin to bless his name. The least call Shebrato Selabra Hamando Salida. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ebrenon de Libra Cas Escovarida. Mando Levreso Se. Selion Bron de Ligro de Sazobra Mizalaya. You have done so much, Lord, so much for Nigeria. Oh, Skelevrones, Asolanda Vaika, Retos, Sabranos. Thank you, Jesus. Ebrenolongres, Eso, Sebranale, Duris, Asaya. Let's thank you for every aspect of our nation economy, security, every aspect. Nothing might seem to be working in the eyes of the flesh, but the Bible says the things which we see are temporal. But the things which we do not see and we cannot see are eternal. Therefore, we are thanking him for the things we have seen with the eyes of our feet. We're thanking him for the things he has revealed. It has not entered into the hearts of men. The Bible says, what God has done for them that love him. We thank him, Lord. We thank you for Nigeria. We are thanking him for his goodness. Thanking him for his compassion. Thanking him for how he has shown mercy to our nation. Men Jeremiah declared in Lamentations chapter 3 that it is of his mercies that we have not been consumed. Nigeria has not been wasted because of the mercy of Jesus. Endless, endless, endless intentions to muzzle this nation and waste her destiny. But they've all been frustrated by the mighty hand of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. Mandro Seliba, Makarato Sevronela. Oh, we give you glory. 
Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, if you notice, when you look at our nation at this time, there seems to be a new movement rising up. And it's, it's, it's centered around the young people. And when you look at what happened with regards to the political primaries and everything that has been going on in the political space, you know that if Nigeria is left in the hand of these elements, oh, Nigeria does not have a destiny. So you notice that something is tearing up the soul of the young men. But again, I can assure you that these elements who are passing away and God is going to be withdrawing the ownership, rulership, leadership of Nigeria form are not willing to let go. So they are going every length, money-wise, spiritually, going to dark powers, occultic realms to ensure that they keep Nigeria in their reigns. But tonight, we are going to come to the Father. The Bible says, if you and I would decree a thing, it will be established. The Bible says, if you and I will bind anything on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. And thank God he has shown us mercy. Therefore, we are going to stand upon the platform of the mercy he has shown us, stand upon the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, stand upon the atoning blood that speaks better things for us, and we are going to declare that everything that any man is doing to keep Nigeria in captivity and bondage is undone tonight by our declaration. Open your mouth and declare tonight that everything any man anywhere is doing, has done, or intends to do to keep Nigeria in captivity, to keep Nigeria in bondage, is brought to naught in the name of Jesus Christ. We raise our voices tonight to declare. Mandro celebrate on the Brahma. The Bible says the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Their rod might have come upon us, but it will not rest upon us. Mando celebra conta sepre manon de liasaiki. Mande librahana se senon brodoli adurima hansai. We are saying tonight, Lord, that the wickedness of the wicked must come to an end in our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who have worked assiduously to keep Nigeria in captivity, their yoke is broken from over our necks. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mandros Selivratash, Presco Levanisi, Setefron Lendorofa Preso Seni, Leon Reketo Frasasi, Saelu Branasakai. We declare the yoke broken from off our neck as a nation, the body lifted from off our shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want us to pray. The Bible tells us a story in the book of, you find in the Kings, you find in the Chronicles, there's a woman called Ataliah. Now the Bible says she labored to cut off every seed of royalty. Why did she do that? She needed to retain power. She needed to retain control. And you know, witchcraft is control, but it's illegitimate. It's control by manipulation. And so there's a lot of activity, witchcraft activity, occultic activity to sustain, retain, and keep power, to maintain control, to keep manipulating the soul of Nigeria, her resources, and every aspect of her. But you know what? It took a priest to arise and say, Atalaya's end has come. And the priest marshaled out every necessary arsenal, human and otherwise, until she was brought down. Tonight, we are going to declare, concerning Nigeria, Atalaya shall be wasted. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to raise your voice and join me tonight and declare that Atalaya shall be wasted. Our hold on the soul of Nigeria breaks tonight as we declare. In the name of Jesus, I raise my voice from the very epicenter of commerciality of Nigeria, from the very center of economics in Nigeria. I raise my voice tonight, even from Lagos State, once capital of this nation, Lagos State, where Nigeria was handed over to Nigerians by the Britons. I stand upon this ground to declare that the hold of Atalaya breaks tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, a hold on the soul of Nigeria is broken. In the name of Jesus, 
Atalaya, your yoke breaks. Your yoke breaks. Your yoke breaks. Your yoke breaks. Your hold is discontinued. Your yoke breaks. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria is rested from your grip. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria, rise out of captivity. In Jesus' name. Finally, as I begin to come to an end of this session, I want us to declare the Bible says Jesus arrived at the graveside of Lazarus and he beckoned to him and he said, Lazarus, comfort. Jesus had previously said that this sickness Lazarus was going through was not unto death. And so I can assure you that whatever Nigeria is going through right now is not unto death. Rather, it is that God will be glorified. We have come to perhaps our worst ever, our worst of times in the history of this nation. But I can assure you also that the darkest hour is closest to dawn. I want you to join me and call Nigeria forth from the grave. Call Nigeria forth from captivity. That the voices of the youth that have been restored to them will be retained. Every spell that anyone intends to cast upon the young ones in this nation and to kill their voice, let's declare frustrated tonight. Let's beckon to Nigeria to arise. Arise from her grave. Arise from captivity. Come back to life. Let's call our economy. Let's call our security. In the name of Jesus, begin to call Nigeria forth from our dark places. Hear the word of the Lord, O Nigeria. The Bible said the time is coming when the dead will hear the voice of the Lord and they will leave. Ezekiel, he said to Ezekiel, prophesy the dry bones. I speak to you, Nigeria. No matter how dry your bones have become, life enters tonight in the name of Jesus. I stand from the very heart of this nation, her initial capital, even recognized spiritually. For in this land, Nigeria was handed over to Nigeria. I stand in this soil to call you back from captivity, call you off from your graves. In the name of Jesus, I declare life is restored to you. In the name of Jesus, vigor is restored to you. In the name of Jesus, Libra non de sia caliata. He said, let Reuben live and not die. And even so I speak to Nigeria, leave and not die. He said, I saw you reading in your own blood. But I also saw, according to Ezekiel 16, that you were good enough for love. And so I said unto you, leave. Nigeria, I said to you, leave. Nigeria, I said to you, leave. Arise, take your place in the scheme of things. Arise, take your place in the committee of nations. Arise, take your place in the, of in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's thank him because he's head of Let's thank him. Let's give him glory tonight. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Oh, thank you, blessed Jesus. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you Pastor John Paul. Uh, for that awesome session, um, I mean, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. We call, we call Nigeria back to life in the name of Jesus. We Hallelujah. rescue Nigeria from Amen. destruction tonight in the name of Jesus. Every bone, Hallelujah. every dry bone in this nation is it dry from the economy? Is it dry in the political space? Is it dry in the educational field? Whatever sector is it the health sector? Any dry bone. We call it back to life now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have so many people that are play, praying with us online tonight. I just want to acknowledge some of the prayer points that have been shared tonight already in the name of Jesus. I see uh, Johnson era on saying we'll break Nigeria from the yoke of bondsmen in the name of Jesus. I see Grace Bolu shouting, Amen. 
I see Andrew, he see my wrong high, saying, Lord, we decree an end to the wickedness of the wicked in our nation in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Ogemo Yosase says, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Iyayi favor says, glory to God in the name of Jesus. I see Dixon, OZ, Ikpavo, watching and praying with us in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Dry bones live again in the name of Jesus. Tonight is a night for power. Tonight is a night for the miraculous. Tonight is a night for the healing in our land. In the name of Jesus, we rescue the, the, the land of Nigeria from the hand of the enemy, from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, Nigeria is rescued. Nigeria belongs to God. No man can take Hallelujah. Nigeria out of the hands of God. Yeah, da, in the ba, name ba, ba, of ba, ba. Jesus. Praise the name of the mm. Lord. Uh, thank God for, for my brother, David Agwebo. God bless you tonight. Thank you for joining us to pray tonight. God bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, Johnson Aaron, God bless you. Thank you. Please keep the prayers coming in. As you are praying in the studio, you are praying online. You are sharing your prayer points. You are making declarations and decree. The Bible says in the book of Job 22, 28, Thou shall decree a thing, and it shall be established, and the light shall shine upon your ways. As we make decrees tonight in the spirit, they are established, and light is shining upon the nation. Light is Hallelujah. shining, and the darkness in our land can no longer comprehend it. In the name of Jesus, are they by your Christ? Are they not? He says, go back the new Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. It is so in the name of Jesus. Michael, Israel, Aka says, arise, O Nigeria, arise. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Adola Orogu says, amen, in the name of Jesus. I'd like to tonight recognize the presence of my brother, um, uh, Pastor Isaac Omori, Pastor Izewua Omori, will be brothers classmates, colleagues uh, for several, for decades. We've been together uh, at the University of Benin where we studied law together. We read law at the Nigerian Law School together. And we are, we are brothers. We are brothers in the kingdom. And tonight we meet on this platform again tonight. I'd like to especially recognize you, uh, Pastor Isaac. Uh, tonight, you don't need any introduction around the world. Uh, but I just like to ask for the purpose of our viewing audience, where you are praying from tonight. Where are you located right now? Reverend Oye, good to see you again. Pleasure, um, sir. I'm praying for Mabuja. Hallelujah. Glory. The good strategic location to pray from, strategic location. Uh, um, John Paul is praying from Lagos, which is now the commercial capital and former capital. You are praying in the present capital. And, and the city gate, the city gate is a strategic location, even in spiritual realm. And you are sitting at the capital of the nation. Tonight, we want you to make declarations over our nation from a strategic advantage geographical location that will spread across the length and breadth of Nigeria and Nigerians locally and in the diaspora. Nigerians, Nigerians are on almost every city in the world. Nigerians are resident in almost every city in the world. We want you to pray tonight over our, our land and over our people tonight, making declarations that will be heard in the spirit realm and activated in the physical. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, I tell you, we are doing something amazing, something that is touching heaven and changing it. Hallelujah. And this is a very special time in the heart of God. And uh, we need to stay focused. We should not be moved by what we hear. We should not be moved by what we see. You see, the things of the spirit is not determined by what you see in the physical. It's spiritual. And it can only be designed spiritually. And so we should not uh, uh, be moved by the... the 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 uh, television or or news going around hallelujah but we should be moved by the word of god i, I if you look at acts of apostles you see in chapter four he said why do why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things why you see the world 
have a way of seeing things. It's different from us. We are God's people. We see things differently. We see from the God's perspective. Hallelujah. And I want us, as we pray tonight, to see the way God sees, to look from the eye of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And begin to speak into this land. It is, a very, it is very important for us to understand that God has given us what it takes to change the destiny of Nigeria or any nation in the world. Why did I say so? Scriptures have proven over and over again how things were turned around when people stood in the place of prayers. And tonight we are going to make it happen. Hallelujah. I thank God for how far God has taken us through this uh, uh, global prayers. But we, every time we are going to be making investment in the place of prayer and continue, you know, in influencing things in the, in the realm of the spirit. Praise God. I want to read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. This evening, Jeremiah 1, 10. He says, see, I have these days set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. God's people, we have been set over this nation to influence this nation. I don't care whether you are in government or not. You see, you have power in the spirit. The power of prayer affects every aspect of human endeavor. And as we pray, we'll begin to make things happen in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And it will affect the way things will go in the natural. The Lord ministered something to me. He gave me a word. And he says that, he said, I'm raising not only the youth in the times that we are in. You see, the emphasis has been that God is raising the youth. Yes. But he said, I'm not only raising the youth in this time. I'm raising people of all ages, some to give direction, some to speak, some to, uh, 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 to provide resources, some to become body bearers. Hallelujah. God is going to raise people of all works, of all ages, in order to do the things that he intends to do. The youth may be in the front line, but God will raise people from every walk of walks of life to bring to pass his will at this time. I tell you, there is change coming. Hallelujah. And no man can stop it. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I want you to be confident as you are praying because God is raising people. Hallelujah. Even in the time of Jesus, God raised Joseph of, of Arimathea. And, and, and Nicodemus, these were rulers of the Jews, but God used them. Hallelujah. Or else the body of Jesus would not have been given to the disciples. Praise God. Let's, let's pray tonight. Hallelujah. Let's call heaven. Hallelujah. Let's begin to speak into this nation. Hallelujah. Let's begin to speak change into Nigeria. It is enough. Hallelujah. It is enough, hallelujah. It is enough, hallelujah. When I was small, I, 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 used, to, I used to shout, when a power brings light, my children are doing the same. It is enough, hallelujah. Let's begin to pray for this nation. We speak change. We uproot the things that are not, that, that, that we do not want any longer in this nation. We uproot, hallelujah, the governments, the governments that are uh, uh, de derailing this nation. We uproot the system that, that are in this nation. We uproot their works in this nation in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray concerning this. We speak change. We speak change. Every controlling force, every power, every power that controls the lives of men, that, that controls the, the ways of men, that controls uh, the economy of this nation. We pull it down in the name of Jesus and we seek restoration to Nigeria. 
in the name of Jesus, in every sector, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Father. We begin to raise men. We begin to raise men in every sector. In the name of Jesus Christ, we begin to raise men, even in government, that we support this move. In the name of Jesus, the Lord begin to raise men. Le mando le boze kedia, le gezebre kedia, le mando le boze kedia. Businessmen that we provide the resources. In the name of Jesus, le manza kaduski bangri adiska, le mando le boze kedia. Manpower. In the name of Jesus Christ, the move of the Spirit of God. No. No one can stop it in the name of Jesus. No one can annul it. Le mando le bozegadea. We frustrate their counsel. We frustrate their counsel over this nation in the name of Jesus. Le mando le bozegadina kabobregadea. Le mangriados kaparagadea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we are praying, some may say, Is it possible? Hallelujah. Is it possible? Can it ever be? Because they boasted, they've decided, they've decided, they've decided that, oh, this is how it's going to go. This is how this country is going to go. We, the power is in our hands. We determine what happens in this country. But is it possible? I tell you, with God, nothing is impossible. Nothing shall be impossible. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 9, if you look at verse 23, he said, nothing shall be impossible for God. Hallelujah. With God, all things are possible. And I declare it this evening that with God, it shall be possible for Nigeria to change, for transformation to come to Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. It is possible in the name of Jesus. We declare it in Jesus' name. Mandole boze gedina kapara gadea. Lehi kapari geduski bandele gede. Re mandole boze ketuna kahiki aduska. Speak it to being. We call it to being tonight in the name of Jesus. Le mando le boze gedea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Glory to God. I tell you, in the Old Testament, we see it when Elijah gave a word. He gave a word. And the, the, the man on whom on the king, on whose hand the king leans, he said, even if the Lord opened the windows of heaven, shall this shall it be so? Is it possible? Can it even ever happen? Hallelujah. But a word was given that he shall see it with his eyes, but he will not eat, he will not partake of it. Hallelujah. And I tell you, hallelujah, we will see it come to pass. Hallelujah. We will see it come to pass. We will see a new Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Declare it tonight. The Declare a new Nigeria tonight in the name of Jesus. A new Nigeria where of change, of where, where Naira will become valuable again. Hallelujah. We speak it into being in the name of Jesus. Nigeria is not lost. We call it back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare Lemando Leboza Gaduna Kaparagade, the grace of God over this nation, the power of God over this nation. We order a turn around in the name of Jesus. Le mando le bo brigadea kapara gadea. Le mando le gede. Oh yes, we have the power to decree a thing. And it says it shall be established. We declare, we decree in the name of Jesus that a new Nigeria come forth in the name of Jesus. Mando le bo brigadea. Le kase le mando le gadea. Le gadea kapara gadea. Hallelujah. Oh, we are not moved by what we see. We are not moved by what we hear. We call it into be, and we are going to see the manifestation. We are going to see the manifestation. Of Hallelujah. 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 Let me just give this last word. Hallelujah. Let me just give this last word. I want to encourage you. Never stop praying. Never stop speaking into this country, into this nation. Hallelujah. The things we see tend to make us to say the negative. But as the people of prayer, 
we must stay in the place of speaking positively concerning this nation. Hallelujah. In Habakkuk chapter 2, he said, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, Habakkuk 3, verse 17, that shall fine. The labor of the holy may fail, and there may be no hard in the stores. He said, Something very important. He said, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will. I, I, I will join in the I God of my salvation. Hallelujah. And see what happened. He said, the Lord is my strength. The Lord will make my feet like the hands feet. That time is coming. That season is coming when God will turn things around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we must receive it in the spirit now. And let our joy increase. Hallelujah. In the midst of troubles, in the midst of confusion, our joy must increase in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Isaac, for that awesome session. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We see a difference. We see something new. We see a new dimension. We see a new dispensation. The 10th in the book of Numbers, they saw they saw themselves like chickens in the in the eyes of of the giant. Oh, yes. Uh, Joshua and oh, Caleb yes. saw something differently. By the eyes of the spirit, mm. they saw it differently. They said, the, the giants are like bread for us in the name of Jesus. Second oh, yes. Timothy 1, 7 says, we are going to see the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, Amen. of the sound mind. Tonight, we we'll see that spirit oh, yes. of power again. Amen. We choose to see differently. Oh, let them say there is a casting down. We shall arise in faith and say there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. We have so many Amen. people praying with us Amen. online tonight. I'm just led to recognize some of the powerful uh, uh, prophetic utterances that have been given online. Reverend Timothy Iyua says, Nigeria will fulfill a prophetic destiny. And David Agwebo says, Hallelujah. Omorege Iyobosa says, Amen, Hallelujah. Oyeneke a fortune Chiamaka says Nigeria is blessed. Indeed, the land is blessed. Adeba your Chris Adedo, he says, Oh Lord, restore the glory of Nigeria in Kateko Baseto Lebreko Soto. Every aspect of the glory of Nigeria which has been crumbled and trampled upon. Tonight we decree that there is a restoration in the name of Jesus for every year, for every season that the locusts that the the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar has eaten. Tonight is a year of restoration. The re- year of restoration. We decree in the name of Jesus that ne- the land of Nigeria is about to become the land of plenty again. The land of abundance again. Ah, it should not be said concerning this land that this is the land that it is inhabitants. Ah, enough is enough. We decree a seizure to the land eating up its inhabitants. And we prophesy and we proclaim tonight that it's a different season. The glory of the land is about to be restored in the name of Jesus. Adela Orogu says, we speak peace upon Nigeria. We we'll prophesy with our mouth that there's peace upon Nigeria in the name of Jesus. There is peace upon the land of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Matthew 16, verse 19, Jesus speaking, he says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth is losing in heaven. Therefore, whatsoever you say on earth becomes law in heaven, becomes the pattern that heaven releases unto you. When you decree a thing, it shall be established. Heaven permits it to be so when you decree it. And so tonight, we decree peace upon our land. We decree restoration upon the land. In the name of Jesus, we decree wellness upon our economy. In the name of Jesus. If our people, oh, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray like tonight. Uh, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I will hear and I will heal their land. We decree healing upon the land right now. Because Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Rufeka is the Lord that heals us. Tonight our land is healed. In the name of Jesus. We proclaim prophetically that the land is healed uh, in the name of Jesus. David Osadola, he says, we pull down every force of wickedness in Nigeria in Jesus' name. We pull down every, every force of wickedness in Nigeria in Jesus' name. The book of Numbers 23, 23 says, it says, surely 
There is no encampment against Jacob. Neither is there divination against Israel that shall be able to stand, that shall be able to prosper. Therefore, on the authority of the prayer and on the authority of that scripture, every force of wickedness in Nigeria in the name of Jesus will pull down. No enchantment against Nigeria. No divination against Nigeria shall be able to stand. No political alliance. No political influence in the name of Jesus. No social gathering, no occultic gathering in the land of Nigeria shall be able to stand. In the name of Jesus, we will proclaim that every council that they have taken up, hey, in Kate Kobeto Setel Lupre Kashata, we, we convert it to a high itophelic council right now. Council of foolishness, council that will be rejected in the name of Jesus. Only the council of the Lord is permitted to stand and in this land, in the name of Jesus. Only the name of the Lord will, 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 will reign supreme in this land. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Tonight we release the fullness of the authority of Adonai, our sovereign God, the one that is mighty in battle. Tonight in the name of Jesus, as we stand in the gap on behalf of this nation, Kate Kabola and Tese Tekele Ukebe Tushata, the counsel of the enemy shall not stand. All those who are gathering politically, economically, educationally to ruin this land, to feed their pocket fat and their foreign accounts fat. In the name of Jesus, we ruin their enterprise. Job chapter 5, verse 20, he says what? Uh, Job chapter 5, verse 12, he said, he say, he say, uh, the, the devices of the crafty shall be frustrated. In the name of Jesus, he said, God disappoint the devices of the crafty that they shall not be able to perform their enterprise. In the name of Jesus, Job chapter 5, verse 12, God will disappoint the devices of the crafty that they cannot perform their enterprise. Therefore, every alliance of wickedness against this land, we decree tonight that their devices are disappointed. Their alliances are disappointed. In the name of, the, and no matter how best they have planned it, no matter how well they have orchestrated their devices ah, to destroy and to bring this land to ruin, to bring our economy to ruins for that. And to preto satala, we destroy the devices, we destroy them. Their wisdom becomes foolishness right now. In the name of Jesus, by the authority of the word of God, we say only the counsel of the Lord will prevail. In the name of Jesus, no matter how careful they are planning, no matter how carefully they are put together their plans, tonight we frustrate in the name of Jesus. Oh, Deborah Sipo, send amen to our prayers. Michael Israel Aka, I love your prayer. He said, Lord, we root out and pull down everything you have not planted in Nigeria that is militating against our destiny. In the name of Jesus, the destiny of this nation as orchestrated and pronounced by God and by the mouth of his prophet, so shall he be. In the name of Jesus, so shall he be. In, so shall he be. In the name of Jesus. We reduce every evil plan against Nigeria to ruins and rubbles. Now, in the name of Jesus, they shall gather in one way, come in one way, but their flame shall be in seven ways. In the name of Jesus, confusion in their midst. In the name of Jesus, they shall not be able to gather to complete their meeting against Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, as we move into the next dispensation and transition in Nigeria, we decree, we prophesy peace in the land. In the name of Jesus. David Osalagweba says, Lord, let your will prevail. It is so. Just in the we close every demonic portals open for demonic works in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Andrew Isa Isima Rohai, he says, We speak for a new Nigeria. Yes, that is a that's a blessing upon Nigeria. Numbers 23 23. He said, Surely I have received commandment to bless. Hey, he said, God has blessed and it cannot be reversed. God has blessed, it cannot be revived. I have received a commandment to bless. Therefore, tonight, by that commandment, and by the word in our mouth, 1 Kings 17, verse 1, Elijah said, he said, at my word, at my word, it shall not rain, neither shall there be dew all these years, all set at my word. Therefore, he controlled nature. He controlled the power of and the forces of nature by the word of his mouth. Ah, if Elijah could do it in the Old Testament, I, living in the New, with Jesus Christ dead, 
are buried and resurrected for me. Oh, and I'm redeemed and my tongue is so powerful. Tonight in the name of Jesus, we proclaim in the name of Jesus that every counsel against Nigeria shall not stand. In the name of Jesus, and we decree tonight that it shall rain, it shall be due of blessings, harvest of miracles upon the land of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, we decree and declare a new Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Okay, make it a sister. Grace Bolu says Nigeria is restored in all areas. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, Adema, your Christ, he said, God forbid that Nigeria is regarded, oh, yes, as a secular nation. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. We shall speak the mind of the Almighty. Yes, Nigeria is for God. Nigeria is for God. In the, we decree it is so. It's a Christian nation. No other religion shall take pride in this land. No other garden of people, no other occultic garden of people, any sect, any name they call themselves or give themselves, shall not prevail or triumph over this land in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and say, we gather Nigeria right now and we throw the whole of Nigeria into the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, the righteous run into it and are saved. The name of the Lord prevails. The name of the Lord has authority. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 Anike Ade says, God, have total reign in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. So it is, so it is, so it is. In the name of Jesus. So it is, in the name of Jesus. Nehemiah 4, 15. Nehemiah 4.15, Nehemiah, who was a nation builder, he got to a point where he said in, in uh, chapter 4, verse 15, he said, the counsel of the enemies have been brought to naught. Their counsel has been brought to naught. The counsel of Tobiah and Sabbath have been brought to naught. Therefore, any political party, political alliance, every evil and demonic alliance, every occultic gathering, that takes counsel against the progress of Nigeria. We bring their counsel to naught now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it is so. It is so in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 30, verse 21. He says, you shall hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way to go. Walk in it. In the name of Jesus. The prophets in this land, the saints in this land, we hear by divine authority, by divine empowerment. In the name of Jesus giving us direction to lead, giving us direction in leadership. In the name of Jesus. Ah, the Bible says, Proverbs 14, 34, righteousness exalts the nation, but still is a reproach to the people. In the name of Jesus, we restore the reign of righteousness in this land. We restore the reign of justice. We restore the reign of fairness. We restore the, the move of the Holy Ghost in this land. In the name of Jesus. Nigeria shall not derail anymore. Nigeria shall not derail anymore. In the name of Jesus. Nigeria, you are prosperous. The land is green. You are prosperous in the name of Jesus. We prophesy upon you tonight. It is well. The land will not eat up its inhabitants. In the name of Jesus, we proclaim over you, Nigeria and Nigerians. Kalebo Shatalakama. I stretch up my hands over every Nigerian in the diaspora. Whatever country you are domiciled right now, in the name of Jesus, it is well with you. You carry a good image for the country, wherever you are, and you restore the pride of this nation. You are strategically positioned out there to launder the name, the image of Nigeria, and to bring back good tidings of great joy. In the name of Jesus, true men and women of the kingdom, peace is restored unto this land, Nigeria. The security challenges in Nigeria will become a thing of the past. By, the, by virtue of the sense of this land and by reason of our faith and prophetic utterances tonight in the name of Jesus. It is so, it is so, it is so. I hear all the amens. If you are online praying with us, shout hallelujah online right now. Shout hallelujah online right now in the name of Jesus. If you are praying with us online, shout hallelujah. Say it is done in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, say it is done in Nigeria in, in the name of Jesus. Nigeria is restored. Nigeria is restored. Nigeria is revived. Hey, Grace Bolu says hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Rachel, Rachel Osage says amen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Andrew says hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. It is so. It is so. It is so. It is so from, from, from North America. They are shouting hallelujah. Nigerians are shouting hallelujah in North America right now. Nigerians in Europe are shouting hallelujah. 
Nigerians in Asia are shouting hallelujah. Nigerians in Australia are shouting hallelujah. Nigerians in South Africa, in Ghana, in different parts of Africa, they're shouting hallelujah. Nigerians in Nigeria are shouting hallelujah. Nigerians in the studio are shouting hallelujah. Nigerians online are shouting hallelujah. It is hallelujah. the name of Jesus. David Agweba shouting glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. With them tomorrow, man. He's so shouting so hallelujah. It is done in Jesus' right. In the name hallelujah. of Jesus. I will say it is done in the name of Jesus. I don't know your Christ say hallelujah. It is done so in the name of God. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. when we started praying tonight, I, I, I prophesied from Ephesians chapter 3, said, God, the God that we serve and the God we pray to tonight, whose ears are not deaf, whose hands are not shortened, that he cannot reach, that he cannot hear us, and that he cannot answer, is the God that does exceedingly abundantly above. And tonight he has done it again. <laughs> tonight he has repeated it again. He has done exceedingly above our prayer points. Uh, he has done abundantly above our prayer points. Uh, he's releasing, he's releasing miracles, miracles everywhere. In the name of Jesus, William tomorrow will say, glory, it is done. Glory, it is done. Glory, 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 hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. D.K. Susan says, only the counsel of God will prevail in our nation, Nigeria. Amen. Glory, 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 hallelujah, it's in the good. name of Jesus. It's been Amen. an awesome time praying tonight. Wow, I feel like praying some more. Glory, can you unmute your mics if you're in the studio? Hallelujah. Pastor John Paul, Amen. hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Pastor Isaac, thank you so much, Pastor John Paul. Can I ask, can I ask that we take rounds uh, to just say a, a, a word or a prayer in 15, 20 seconds? Pastor John Paul, let me start with you. Say something in 20 seconds. Make a declaration in 20 seconds. God is the scripture. He was begun the work faithful to carry to completion. So he has started a work in Nigeria. The same hands that started it, the same hands will finish in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no abandoned project with God. The project of Nigeria is a project in the hands of God. <laughs> Even if Nigerians relocate, God is not going to relocate. Hallelujah. God will not run away and abandon the nation. It is his project. Hallelujah. And we thank God because he's omnipresent. Hallelujah. And his omnipresent power is effective and effectual at the same time to do wonders. Pastor Isaac, Amen. say something for 20 seconds. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is never late. Hallelujah. Ooh, and he's ooh. always on time. Let's ooh, have that confidence. Let's have that confidence that when we call on him, he will show up. Hallelujah. God is at work in this nation. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what is going on now. We will surely laugh at the end. Hallelujah. Because God is in control. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is an on-time God. Anytime God arrives at your case, anytime he arrives in your situation right is the best yeah. time. And right that time is the perfect Hallelujah. time. This is now a perfect time where we have declared Hallelujah. and we believe in the Hallelujah. realm of the spirit that things are happening already. Hallelujah. Transformation Amen. is happening already. Change is happening already. Amen. Oh, we give God Amen. the glory already. I see, I see Oluchi Atunalu watching online. Uh, people are declaring glory, hallelujah. Uh, Deola Arogu, thank you. It is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Shelley Amen. David Agwebo, hallelujah. Before you take the announcement tonight, I wanted to make prophetic utterances for 30 seconds. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Um, praise God. Mm. I, I wasn't hallelujah. planning to... Um, I mean, we have very capable hands tonight in the studio, and I wasn't really planning to do anything except pray. I, I you know, just pray the entire one hour myself. But I have a leading to say this, like a warning to everyone. It's an encouragement, but it's like um, an admonition, more like. 
You know, when you are casting, if you're into deliverance ministry, when you're casting out demons, sometimes you see manifestations. Sometimes they go, get really violent and aggressive. Yeah. We're dealing with demons in Nigeria and dealing with them and casting them out and resisting them, naturally you will see manifestations and reactions. You will see aggressive reactions of demonic forces that have held Nigeria bound. I have a word for believers out there. If the enemies and the demons will react and cause killings and everything, let it not be you. Do you understand? Decide that whatever will happen as a reaction in the spirit. The Bible says, as soon as Zion travailed, he brought forth, she brought forth a man child. Birthing children is a difficult process. It, it involves, you know, labor pains and pains and everything and reactions because a child is coming to the world. And we're birthing a new Nigeria. There will be reactions. You know, when COVID came, and you know, this is a word I need to encourage someone. Go over cases of things happen to believers, and it breaks one's heart sometimes. When COVID came, you saw a lot of people declaring Psalm 91 over themselves. No, the, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortune. And then COVID is gone, and then we've calmed down. Please, I want to say this word of admonition over believers. If people will die, let it not be you. Make sure that you are safe. And how do you do that? Activate your angels. A scripture, Job chapter 5, verse 19, he says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yes, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. We know that for the purpose of persecution and everything, some people will lose their lives. We understand that. But the killings that have been going on in Nigeria, it is not persecution. Nobody is asking you to choose between Christ and otherwise. It's just a mindless killing. Decide as a believer. Arm yourself in the spirit and with angels and say, it is not for me near my dwelling. I forbid it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's an encouragement to believers because between now and the birthing of the new Nigeria, there will be reactions. There have been reactions and there will still be some reactions, but we will win in the name of Jesus because Hallelujah. God is involved. Amen. I speak over you tonight and I join faith with you out there listening to me. And I decree this word over you. Job chapter 5 verse 19. The Lord will deliver you in six troubles. And in seven troubles there shall no evil touch you. In the name of Jesus, with your eyes you will behold and see the re reward of the wicked. A thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come nigh you. The angel of the Lord encamps around you. And as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor Uyi, Barrister Uyi, Reverend Uyi, for giving me the opportunity to, um, for forcing me to talk tonight more like. Let me just encourage you. This is a movement that God has given us instructions to do this. We're not just doing this. We love Nigeria, but this is beyond love and passion. This is instruction. God gave this instruction January last year, 2021 saying we should get ready for global prayers for Nigeria in 2022. Imagine the kind of advance notice God gave. So God is doing something. We are not the ones doing something. It is God that is doing something. We're just partnering with God. We're connecting what he's doing. And we are saying amen to that which God has decided to do in heaven. Because our amen is important. Join this movement. If you check the um, description box of this video, there is a link there. Nigeria. This time every two weeks, I'm praying for Nigeria with other believers. You are more likely to fulfill that prayer and you are less likely to procrastinate or forget to pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as everyone who's watching me now commits to praying for Nigeria in Jesus' name. Thank you, Barrister Oye. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Amen. Um, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Shelley, for, for those um, fantastic words. Um, Bless God that you had to speak tonight. Um, can I can I can I say something? Um, in the course of preparing for this program um, tonight, in the course of the week, um, we received some um, 
some directions uh, to pray. And um, somebody has seen um, um, in the realm of the spirit graves, mass graves open in front of people's houses yeah. and youths um, being killed uh, and, and all of that. Um, it may look frightening, but nothing first happens until God reveals them to the spirit of his sons, the prophets, that scripture. And so um, when you see something negative in the realm of the spirit, when you pray and prophesy, you, adv you avert it. So it doesn't happen. Yeah. And if it does happen, uh, the angel of death will pass yeah. over. If it's going to happen, if death is going to happen, it won't be you. It won't be the sense that that will that's going to happen to. Yeah. So tonight I'm going to pray prophetically for everybody praying online with us tonight that death will not visit your household. Amen. In the name of Jesus. That, it, that, that you will not be, you will not, you are not permitted to carry a coffin, a coffin in the name of Jesus for any family member. And you are not permitted to be the one in the coffin that people will carry in the name of Jesus. May the Lord protect you, protect your family from the spirit of death, whether by accident, um, whether by uh, by insecurity, whether by stray bullets, whether by mob action, anyhow, death is going to come, whether by sickness, whatever, you are immune from death this period in the name of Amen. Jesus. You and your family, you shall live and you shall testify. You shall live and you shall glorify the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I'm prophesying for somebody tonight in the name of Jesus. If there is sickness in your household, and that sickness looks as if it is terminal or as if it will pretend unto death. I invoke the full authority of Jehovah Rapha right now in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy that there is healing upon that body, healing upon that system, healing upon the totality in the name of Jesus. And everybody said amen tonight online. I see amen. so many amens tonight in the name of Jesus. It is done exceedingly. It is done abundantly. It is done above in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, like Pastor Shelley has said, join us on a Monday, join us on a Friday. It is on every week, Mondays and Fridays at this time, 9 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Nigerian time, but if I'm in the studio, I could take the liberty of praying just a little above 10 p.m. like tonight. And God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. And please share the link and let other people know that we are all praying for Nigeria. The announcement is online right now. All believers' prayers. You can see the, the time and the link. And God bless you. Thank you for joining us. We love you so much. God be with you. Keep praying for Nigeria. Don't stop praying. It's not a one-off um, 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 event. It's not a one-off event. It is continuous. It's part of our daily bread. Praying for Nigeria. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for being here.